हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट pathology of papillary carcinoma of thyroid so grossly the papillary carcinoma of thyroid is actually hard and whitish structure and grossly it is seen flat on sec sectioning on sectioning you can see the flat structure is seen on sectioning and also you will see presence of microscopic calcification will be seen in the mass with necrosis and also with cystic changes are seen pathologically this papillary carcinoma shows multifocality it is multifocality it is multifocal tumor and it is common in 85% of cases on microscopic examination this multifocality is the one which is associated with increased risk of cervical because of this multifocality what is multifocality means multifocality means in the thyroid uh, gland it is present on different so it's not just one lesion it is like multifocality lesion many lesions are seen and here you will see presence of necrosis and even cystic changes are also seen like this okay next this because of this multifocality will always has increased risk of cervical nodal metastasis is seen and okay and rarely it can also invade the adjacent structures especially it can invade the adjacent uh, structures like uh, uh, trachea is nearer to the thyroid and esophagus also it can invade or recurrent laryngeal nerve this uh, papillary carcinoma is rarely encapsulated very rarely it is encapsulated and there are variants are present in capillary car papillary carcinoma so variants of papillary carcinoma include we have tall cell variant insular variant columnar variant uh, diffuse sclerosing variant clear cell variant trabecular variant poorly differentiated types so these are the different variants of papillary carcinoma and this papillary carcinoma okay this papillary carcinoma if you see the important histology on histology in the papillary carcinoma you will see presence of papillary projections are seen these are actually the branching papillae is seen in the papillary carcinoma of thyroid we will see presence of branching papillae which of cuboidal epithelial cells are seen and there is one important thing which is called has orphan ani nuclei orphan ani i nuclei which is also called has ground glass nuclei is present what is this orphan ani nucleus in orphan ani nucleus there is nucleus of orphan ani this this orphan ani nucleus contains finely dispersed chromatin it contains finely dispersed chromatin because of this finely dispersed chromatin it gives uh, um, appearance of uh, it actually gives empty appearance or it appears as though it is optically clear so these orphan ani nucleus are important and uh, there are invaginations are seen of the cytoplasm are seen in the orphan ani nucleus you will see invagination of new cytoplasm is seen in cross sections and these invaginations of cytoplasms are called as intra they are called as intranuclear inclusions or they are also called as pseudo inclusions and these are also called as intranuclear groups so if we draw a diagram this orphan ani nucleus will mainly look like the many branched papillary appearance is seen in the or in the uh, on histology and you will see in here you will see the cells and in the cells you will see orphan ani nucleus in the orphan ani nucleus it gives an empty appearance with grooved it is something like this 
and here it gives empty appearance because of finely dispersed chromatin and you will see that there is invagination of the cytoplasm is seen giving rise to this intranuclear inclusions or pseudo inclusions or intranuclear grooves are seen then and one more important point here is presence of samoma bodies are also seen in uh, papillary carcinoma of thyroid so we also have presence of samoma bodies are also seen okay what are these samoma bodies these samoma bodies are actually microscopic calcified deposits which are seen these are these are these actually represents the clumps of these will represent the clumps of sloughed cells so this is some moma bodies are also seen on microscopy thank you and thank you for watching